Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with a new Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today and we have a 3v3 with some excellent uh, tactics and some great last stands. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out till the end, I would definitely recommend it. But anyway, we'll get straight into this battle. Um, we do have a, like, a quick ambush here, it was like some uh, swaby troops have been sent up and burnt down Seleucid's uh, Greek Bastion. Ballista, that was a very nice little sneaky move. But yes, this is all, uh, these players are all on the Discord. Uh, so if you want to take part in uh, any battles that may then feature on the channel, do join the Discord down below in the description. Don't also also forget to uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the uh, video. And uh, leave a comment if there's uh, any, I don't know, any, ba any battles that you want me to recreate. Or you just want to show your support. Uh, it's all much appreciated. While we have a Bastion Onager over here firing on Kush. So I'm pretty sure it's Macedon, Carthage, and Seleucids defending against Epirus, Kush, and Swaby. So some good uh, factions for attacking and defending today. Um, mainly Pike factions are defending. We do have some Pike factions attacking. Kush and Epirus both have Pikes. Uh, Kush don't have the greatest Pikes, but they, they, Pikes are Pikes. End of the day. And we have a cavalry sally out already. It looks like uh, Carthage is going to be sending out. Oh no, he's turning around. He's looked like he's going to send out his companion cavalry. And get them mobilized. I also have my uh, Thessalian cavalry over here. I was playing as Epirus. Uh, it looks like Swaby's been taking a bit longer on uh, getting his stuff back. He's uh, sending up his archer. Well, sent his archer up. He's pulled them back. Uh, but he's not doing much else at the moment. Epirus and... Uh, Kush and I. I am Epirus. So why would I... Epirus and I, that does not work. Um, but Epirus and Kush are going in straight away. Landing on the walls. We've got some Samonite warriors first to go in. And they're going to get focused down. Oh gosh. Uh, look at that. Just getting focused down by arrows. Here comes the next volley. First few bodies dropping. That's not a good sign. So yeah, this is going to be the pain that we're going to go through. Is these walls. We need to get off the walls as soon as possible. And then get, like, I don't know, down and into the streets and start either fighting or just, like, hide behind some buildings. I've landed over here. I'm taking out this artillery. It is actually shooting. I don't know what it's shooting at. Shooting. Trying to shoot my general. He's taking out. Or he's trying also to take out my pikes, but, I mean, he's going to fail in doing that. Uh, looks like, yeah, I mean, we dealt with the walls. They're not defending the walls. Uh, the first contact we're going to be coming into is some Carthaginian late hot plights. So they will be a tough test. I mean, I've got Royal Peltas facing them. They should do okay. We've got Mercenary Samonite Warriors here as well. Against Mercenary Samonite Warriors. Okay, so it's the Battle of the Samonites. Who will come out on top here? We will find out. But, I mean, I'd say Carthage will come out on top. He's got Archer support uh, if he wants to use it. He's certainly firing down everything on the top of those walls there. And my men have come down in uh, ones and twos off the wall. They still are coming off the wall by the looks of it. As they fight off in the shadows of these uh, walls. More troops over there landing. Coming off the walls it seems. So we're getting quite a lot of troops off the walls. Which is good. It's what we need to do. I'm capturing that gate over there for Kush. So he can get his army through the gate. I can hear something going on. Okay, it seems like a wall has collapsed. Okay, so the Royal Peltas over here have captured... Uh, well, not captured. Knocked down a, uh, a hole in the wall with the tortoise. And now it's time to flank round. And I think the plan is to flank round this way and support Swaby when he gets in. He's still not moved at the moment. He's uh, still being a bit patient. I think it was mainly because he was AFK at this moment. He'd gone and uh, clearly gone and done something. So we've attacked without him at the moment, which is never a great idea. Never attack uh, in waves. So it's the first mistake is the attack attackers really was wa not waiting on Swaby, but in we go. Looks like Royal Peltas getting ready. A volley as they uh, get also a volley back from Royal Peltas and Slingers as the banner carrier falls down dead. Yeah, this is a uh, this is not good. This is not a fight we can win. I really need to engage here, and I've decided this is uh, not worth it, and we're going to fall back around the corner. I mean, yeah, what have we got back here? We've got Cretan Archers, we've got Rhodian Slingers, we've got a lot of stuff, we've got Pikes. Uh, I mean, it looks like Mastodon is well and truly entrenched in. 
What's going on down here? We've got a, a fight. Got Samonite Warriors pulling out, uh, like, fighting here. Fighting against uh, Carthaginian Hot Plates. They're getting absolutely butchered, actually, these Carthaginian Hot Plates. And here comes another unit. Looks like he's bringing up some Sacred Band. He's going to try and contain us. Let's see this charge from the Sacred Band. Oh, look at that man, begging for mercy. He begs, but he will never get mercy. Here we go. It looks like it looks like Epirus is actually probably going to take this area here. Like these Carthaginian hoplites are getting absolutely messed up. It looks like he's going to pull back the sacred band. It's just not worth it. He's got Libyan Peltas here on the wall. As uh, as this Cretan archer unit just fires into the backs of all these Sorak swords, it does look like he's setting up his Libyan Peltas to try and deal with these Cretan archers. Not a bad decision actually by Carthage here. This, the Summonites, uh, Carthage's Summonites are losing the fight. If you're interested to know who's got the better Summonites, it would be Epirus, apparently. Even though both sides have had a lot of support from outside influence. Heads dropping, I can see there's some decapitations going on, never... Never a pleasant sight unless you're uh, winning. Thorax Swords here losing. That's never good. But I mean, there's a lot of uh, action going on in this corner. It looks like uh, Sluice does not want uh, Epirus to really flank here. He's like sending in two units. He could have easily just defended with one unit in the choke point here. But he's sending this one. And this one's definitely uh, a bit trapped off. Even though the like Epirus is like pinned against the wall. If I can like get in here. With the camera. Like, Epirus is pinned against the wall here. But, in doing so, he has surrounded this unit. We have more uh, Royal Peltas coming in. Okay, so this is going to be nasty. Because the plan was, I decided, that I was going to get this Royal Peltas unit as close as possible. And around the flank. See if they're going to do it. And then throw Javis into the side of these Sorak Swords. So here, let's see if this happens. Are we going to get a jabby throw? Hit the order's been given. Right, I'm clearly getting very close. Okay, maybe I ha wasn't doing it, or maybe they just got too close to my liking. I don't know. Here we go. Getting into position. Let's see this jabby throw. I kind of hope it gets pretty, uh, it's pretty good. I didn't actually watch it. Oh, that is pretty nasty. It's definitely a cup. Oh my gosh. That is horrendous. About like a dozen guys just got mowed down there. And there you go. They were like on 130 or something. They're getting, they're still getting focused down. Look at this. The number's dropping. We killed like 40 guys, 30, 40 guys there. And now the charge, I think the order's about to get, be given to just send those guys in. Uh, it does look like Kush has just about engaged as well. He's taking on... Some hot plates over here with some Shota Warriors. Both sides apparently losing. Uh, decisively. But I mean, I'd, this is fairly good for Kush. It's a good trade. He's going to take some hot plates out with Shota Warriors. That's not a bad trade, but he's also flanking around. He's got some armored, armored Shotels in here as well. And he's going to force the tide in his favor. He's also getting focused down the, uh, heavily by archers. This is not good. Doesn't want to blob up too much. I think they're back here somewhere. I think it's these guys here that have just put... Oh, no, it's these ones. Okay, there's two units of Cretan Archers here focusing down. Actually, it looks like Kush has been combating quite a bit. Uh, I didn't see all these dead here. These might be pikes by the looks of it. I don't know. But anyway, they look like they've been in some fighting already as Kush, and I missed it. Apologies. But you got to see some excellent, uh, some excellent javying from... The Royal Peltas of Epirus, but the Royal Peltas of uh, Macedon, they're just about dead. Oh, look at that guy. Just arrow, burning arrow to the face. What a what a way to go. Yeah, and these uh, Royal Peltas, they're going to die. He's got pikes though ready set up. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem for Kush to get through. I mean, he has got archers back here. I'd definitely get these archers inside the wall, start shooting these Thorax pikes. Over here against... Uh, Against Carthage, I'm not having as much luck. I'm kind of fighting on two fronts at the moment. I'm fighting against Seleucids over here. I'm also fighting against Carthage and Seleucid in here. I mean, 
Sluice has brought all his archers here. And he's focusing down all mine on the walls. Um, yeah, my Rodian Slinger's not doing so well. My Another one of my units broke to these Libyan Peltasts. And this one's just getting focused down by uh, more Cretan archers. It's just an army of Cretan archers here. Everyone brought them. Which you would, if you could. Over here, though, we're doing okay. We're holding them at bay, but I mean, it looks like all my units are losing. Yeah, that's not so good. It might be time to start sending in some more stuff. I, but I'm kind of running out. I've got my artillery, which is on full ammo. I've got my general, and I've got two units of pikes. And my cav, and that's about it. But we have broken through here, so these three units have been freed up. And that's three units of uh, Royal Peltas, which is huge. But they've now got to face Thorax Swords. But the huge thing is, Swaby has finally arrived. He is uh, out of his long sleep. Swaby has finally awoken, and we've got sword masters on the wall. And the good thing is, is that Swaby, that I have been soaking up so much ammo that Swaby won't have to really deal with much ammo himself. So he could be fairly fresh by the end of this, which is good. But I mean, I've just seen this. This is going to be a concern. There's elephants over here, African war elephants, and I'm pretty sure. Seleucid has some elephants as well. He's got the Indian ones somewhere. And there you go. I'm starting to fire in with my uh, artillery. I've decided, right, time to do some damage. We're just going to shoot in here and we're going to just try and kill some stuff. And it looks like there's African pikemen here. They're definitely a good target to take out. Hopefully my artillery can hit them. But there you go. Libyan Peltas is going to break. And then we can send these guys down off the wall. But the cavalry is also in. I don't know why it's in. I think this is a misclick. I didn't really want it inside the walls. But here you go, looks like the pikes have been focused down by archers. Still are being focused down by archers. Oh, that's actually pretty nasty. Like, they're so bloodied up, just a couple of shots and they just, like, get absolutely destroyed. Over here we've got the same thing happening, I think. These pikes have just been focused down, yet. Yeah. Mastodon's got a tough decision to make. He needs to really get some swords up if he's got any swords left. Send them up, or any spears. Because then he can, uh... Use them to basically just soak up this ammo. Because to hold this choke point, because his pikes just don't want to be soaking up this ammo. He needs to keep these pikes alive. But I'm, I'm waiting for the show to... I mean, I don't think those show are going to go in. I don't think Kush will make that decision. Um, we've got hot pikes over here protecting against these uh, armor show warriors. I mean, he's taking all the towers, which is very good. Because now these are just shooting on uh, Mastodon. And they're just they're going to be racking up a couple of kills here and there. But here we go. It looks like a huge break here. And Carthage has got cavalry inside. That's a concern. And I think, yeah, Carthage has got cavalry inside. And they're going to come straight for Kush. Never a good sign. But I am rushing my cavalry here. I'm going to try and get it through this gate and stop Carthage from getting here. But yeah, we've basically broken here. I'm having a really rough time on this side. My pikes have finally been committed. This might turn the tide over here. Because uh, I don't know where... Carthage's pikes are, but they're not here. My uh, Salmonite Warriors finally broke. I think the Battle of the Salmonites uh, ended in a Carthaginian victory. Mainly because they flanked around with uh, noble swords. Or noble fighters. But the pikes here, they should do a good job. I'm now trying to flank around here. Because we still are, we're still holding this front line here. So I'm like, right, I need to re-engage these boys. Hold these guys at bay so I can defend this flank here. And just hold all of these back. And then try and win with my pikes and then get around. But yeah, here we go. Charge going in. Royal Peltas versus Samonite Warriors and Noble Fighters. Uh, I don't know who will win. I'd say the Noble Fighters probably might win this. They're still fairly fresh. Um, but my men are not th that bad off either. I mean, we look like we're about to win here. The pikes can then go in and fight these pikes, hopefully. And then uh, we can send in this small unit of Royal Peltas to help save the day against the Noble Fighters. Okay, so now I had a plan. I'll explain what is happening here with my Ballista. So I was trying to knock down a wall here. So I can then send my General in and maybe a unit of pikes. But I decided I'm going to send my pikes into support over here in this choke point. I can send my General in and he can then flank over here. Because Carthage is quite happily sending in all his Noble Fighters to engage my Royal Peltas here. So I thought, right, I'll be sneaky, and then I'll bat down a wall here and then get my general to sit, sneak in and flank. It's a risky move, but Carthage has nothing over here that I can see anyway. 
So, it's not the worst idea in the world. But here we go, look. The companion cav has been broken. And we can now get around. So my cavalry is now going to start going around and starting flanking stuff. Over here, Kush is going to catch some, some archers out. Which is huge. I don't know whether they've got any ammo left. Who knows? But hot plates are coming up to save the day. Yep, so these Shota Warriors are going to go straight into some hot plates. That's uh, unfortunate. So they're going to be held at bay. I mean, in fairness, you could get more units round. You could sneak around here and you could get these Cretan archers out. Which are fighting in combat. I presume they're out of ammo if they, they're going to happily just fight against some armor Shota Warriors. What have we got here? We've got more pikes coming up. This is not good. And then all the cavalry here. What is happening here with all this cavalry? Okay, so I think I'd seen an idea of trying to sneak through here and then get around. But I also think this had something to do with pathfinding. And basically my cavalry just did not do what I wanted it to do. It went the wrong way. This one went the right way on the other hand. And uh, I'm basically going to go for a massive flank around here and just see if I can get up here. And cause any, cause any havoc. But anyway, well, how's Swaby doing? Swaby's doing okay. He's uh, basically fighting in a huge choke point here. I can, I will come back to Swaby just quickly because there you go. I can hear the the noise of a breach being made. And uh, Carthage didn't send in all his noble fighters in the end, so that was a shame. But we are kind of causing a problem here. These no mercenary noble fighters are losing their fight. But my general going against these noble fighters should be able to beat them. I think. Yeah, I mean, 155 to 106. And going down, we should be okay. But I am having a bit of a chain route here. Because the elephants have arrived. So this is not good. We have elephants, pikes, the lot. Um, so, yeah, this is this is painful. And we're, and we're surrounded. I didn't even think of that. These noble fighters here surrounding us. So, yeah, my units aren't feeling so good right now. And I think the elephants are going straight for my general. So this is uh, this is an issue. I'm trying to get my artillery to start firing on these elephants. See, because that's going to be the, bit, the way to do the most damage to them as quickly as possible. But yeah, this is going to just cause my my general to certainly either break or not feel it. There we go. A shot gone in. It's just going through the elephants. Like, I was directly hitting the elephants, but like the, the shots just morph through the elephants. So I don't know if it actually does any damage. Um, I presume it does because they're fairly bloodied up now. But yeah, my general is uh, not feeling so good now. I think he's actually wavering. Yeah, he's routed. He's gone. Okay, so yeah, my army's basically spent. So it's now a 3v2. Balance of power's not looking so good um, for the attackers. It's fairly even, which is what it doesn't want to be. But we are breaking through here with my pikes helping. They are doing their bit. I mean, I didn't even realize the pikes weren't even up. I was like, oh, these pikes must be, like, doing a lot of work here. But they were I hadn't even mobilized the pikes, got them down. So, uh... I don't know how we broke through this, but I think just through numbers and sheer, like, sheer numbers and quality. But Seleucid's, like, really committing all of his stuff to try and hold here. If I was Seleucid, I'd start pulling stuff back. I think it's uh, time to pull back. Certainly not to the center, but you can start falling back to the next sort of la layer of choke points. Because, uh... Well, I don't know. I just think Kush is making quite a good headway. Oh, he's making some headway. Okay, we've got more elephants over here. We've got the African elephants being mobilized. My cavalry died, I think, uh, trying to stop them. We've now got Kush's cavalry going in, slowing these guys down. His elephants are going berserk. These elephants should die a bit quicker. And he's also got archer support, obviously. Yeah, there you go. The elephants are dropping. These guys are going to die a lot quicker than the uh, Indian ones. More arrows falling. Yeah, these guys are dying quite quickly, actually. So, I mean, Kush has been blessed. He kind of, like, stopped them in his tracks. He sacrificed his cavalry, which is actually going to win, I think. Yeah, it's winning that combat decisively. Yeah, elephants are not finding that so fun. So, I mean, I think, yeah, Kush is making some good headway. Mastodon's, I wouldn't say spent, but he's, uh, he's certainly not looking so good. A companion cavalry in here, this is not good. Oh, okay, and Carthage is over here. He's got pikes over here. So Carthage is kind of now helping Macedon because I think Macedon's probably the most beaten up out of all the defenders. Actually, I don't know. Carthage has not got much left either. He's basically just got noble fighters, archers, and some pikes. And a few hoplites. Or sacred band. Actually, I don't know. He's looking okay. I'd say Macedon and Carthage are in a pretty similar state, actually. I'm out as Epirus. I'm basically done. Um... 
Kush is making some fairly good he headway. Swaby's killing quite a lot of men. Basically because he's a fresh army. So it's... It could go either way, I guess. I mean, it's kind of... I'd say it's more in favour of the defenders right now. But, I mean... They really need to get some pikes up here and they can kill these Shota Warriors a lot quicker. I mean, they're losing anyway. They are losing anyway. I mean, if you've got this cavalry around, I'd just go in and send a unit in here, engage this infantry, and then surround this uh, Shota unit with uh, cavalry. That's what I'd do. I mean, he's got these hot pikes here. They could definitely be sent in. I didn't even realize he's engaged here. Yeah, these guys... I mean, combat even against two units of hot plights. Shows how goddamn powerful these uh, shows of warriors are. Yeah, they're losing decisively. Uh, yeah, okay, so... I'm a show of warriors here. Obviously, as usual, very OP. They'll hold the line for a while with those show to warriors. I and mean, more are being sent in, apparently. Well, they're getting close. If I was the cavalry now, this cavalry over here, I'd just start... Oh, yeah, there you go, breaking. So they... They didn't have long, did they? And they broke those show to warriors there. That's good. Well done, Mastodon. Mastodon's making some work. Be... He's doing some work, to be fair. There's pikes being set up here by Kush to fight back the African pikes, which is good. Oh, God, this is going to be a suicide charge. So these Cretan archers just condemn themselves to die. What a strange move. I would have saved these Cretan archers. They had lives. They had families. I think some of them still had their bows out, so they might have still had their ammo as well. Yeah, those Cretan archers. Oh my gosh. They got, like, butchered. There's seven of them left, and they're finally breaking. I'm surprised they broke that. They took that long to break. But there we go. So we've broken through over here as over the Swabian. I'm still here a bit. I'm still here in spirit. I've got two units left. One pike unit. And one Royal Peltas. And the Pikes are down now. They're going to go in and combat these African Pikes. They're outnumbered, but they don't care. These are Epirus Pikes. They're made of sterner stuff. They don't cower at these African Pikes. But now uh, the, long the Longbow Hunters back there are getting up. They're getting ready. They're focusing down all the Pikes. We've got more Pikes. We've got Thorax Pikes. But the uh, magic, or like the secret... Uh, weapon we have is that Swaby still has his artillery. I don't think Swaby's used any of his artillery ammo up either because he knocked down a breach here with a tortoise and he's going to use his artillery to basically uh, carve a path through these pikes because our archers are not doing it, put it like that. Uh, they're getting focused on by Syrian heavy archers. This sword unit here also is like just nibbling away at the pikes on the side. It's hilarious. Like Occasionally, every so often, a pikeman just keeps coming out of formation, comes and fights these these peltas and dies. We've got Sacred Band in here as well. Look at the pikes; they're just standing and looking at each other now. They're just not they're just not in quite enough range. They're just they're tapping each other. But here you go; these sword masters are going to go in. Oh, and there we go, the artillery. The artillery got a good hit there, like to carve through those thorax pikes. Oh, that one, that one definitely was friendly fire. That one hit a lot of pikes and sword masters. That was a good one. It's just trying to not hit like any of our own men. As long as you get through both the lines of pikes, hit the African ones. Oh, fiery balls of justice now. That's good. And now he's blobbing up. He's even doing more blobbing up, which is not good. He's sending in. Oh, look at that. Syrian archers dead. Like, he's blobbing up, and he's just meaning that it's an even easier target for these artillery. That was a bit more skimming. It hit the back of these men. Let's see if there's another one. It looks like he's pulling out the thorax pikes. Another one. Go on. Yes, that was an excellent hit, actually. That was a really good hit. But yeah, these pikes are looking a bit beaten up now, and this line's looking a bit easier to break. That one was awful. We, we don't talk about that shot. But look, this line's just made up of archers. It's got a few pikes, and it's got a few sacred band. But we're sending in more sword masters now. And they're getting through to the front line. Like, they're breaking through the pike line. There's just not enough pikes left. I think uh, Swaby's held his fire. 
I'm not sure. He's lost two. He's lost two of his oranges. No, three. Uh, one of his oranges. Oh, it's stuck here. Okay, that one's never getting out. Is he gonna fire again? Oh, he is. Oh, he's still trying to hit these uh, thorax spikes all the way back there. He's just thinking. If they bring them forward, I can kill them. Carthage over here is spending basically his last uh, his last troops and trying to take out these armored warriors. I would have just pulled back. Pull back to the final defense. It's time, I think, for the defense to pull back. The balance power has gone well in our favor for some reason. I think because those elephants died. I think the elephants were just what made the balance power still even. Because I I died quite uh, quite quickly as Epirus, but I did take quite a lot of men with me. I basically whittled down uh, Carthage quite a lot, and I took out a bit of the Seleucids. So I did a little. I did my bit. I've got one unit left, so I'm still doing my bit. Actually, no, I think I've still got two, haven't I? I've got those pikes. Okay, no, I don't have the pikes. The pikes broke. Cowards. I'm going to blame that on the Onager. I'm going to say the Onager did, did, did that. But, uh, Sacred Band. They're, uh, they're dying. Put it like that. They're, they're going to die quick. There's 43 of them. I mean, these wooden spears and these sword masters, they'll probably mince them up. I mean, my, uh, my Royal Peltas is still in here, but I don't believe that they're doing anything, to be honest. Look, they're just standing. They're not even going to dare, like, fight. This one th sacred band. They're too scared of him. Too scared. Over here, it looks like Swaby is... Well, he's actually got the, uh... The Seleucid General in combat. This is good. He's got, uh, archers on the wall here. They should start firing down on these, uh... On these boys. They could definitely take them out. We've got what we've got here. We've got Berserkers. Okay, so he's getting the elites in now. He's got Berserkers in there. I mean, the Swordmasters are also elite. I always like seeing Swaby here. Swaby's always fun to see. Oh! Always good when you see like a man just tipped over a shield. That's always as satisfying. And then we've got more Royal Peltas getting sent in here. I wouldn't do this. I'd be flanking round. Like there's a good flank you could get. You could take out. I mean they are breaking these guys anyway. So it doesn't really matter. I mean, actually, Swaby's pretty spent as well, looking at this. I'd say Berserkers left. He's got more Berserkers over here. He's got a Swordmaster unit here that actually could do some work. Okay, this was a nice little uh, tactic we had going on. So we're just going to get the Wardenham Spears here uh, to look at the pikes. And then we're going to just surround these pikes uh, with other units. And yeah, he's got just no choice. He's either got to stand one way or he looks... And now he's forced to turn around. And now we send in the Wardenham Spears. Oh, okay, he's not turning around, and these wooden spears are just getting killed. But they are, we are slowly killing them off in the rear, look at that. That is nice, and they're just, uh, they're wavering already, and now you, now you send them in. Now you send the spears, and these guys have turned around. But, I mean, it's too late, like, they're turning around as the unit's, like, well and truly inside their formation. Oh, decapitation's going on. And the pikes are broken. That's huge. Because they're going to need the pikes, as many pikes as possible for a final stand. Um, they do have a unit over here with pikes. Uh, which is good. Good for them. I mean, Kush looks actually fairly healthy. I'd say him and uh, him and Swaby obviously are going to be doing most of the, the heavy lifting. I'm just going to be there cheering them on with my one unit. I think Kush also has artillery left. Yeah, he's still got... He's got an African ballista. I presume this has still got ammo if he's wheeling it all the way up. Mastodon looks like he's uh, exiling himself over here. The main capture point is here. Um, where the saluted pikes are currently. That is where the main capture point is. But I mean, I think Mastodon has uh, got some troops left. I think Carthage has a general left, but that's it. But it looks like... Uh, I thought Kush was going to go in here and fight. But it just looks like he's just going to stand off. Just let uh, Mastodon just stand here with his hoplites. I don't know. I don't know what's going on now. I mean, there's like just a minimal amount of fighting going on right now. Minimal. I think, yeah, everyone's... Uh, so I'm just going to speed it up quickly. As uh, Well, actually, I don't really know what's going on. But it's come down to the very last few units. that I know that Seleucids certainly have some... Something up there, see. They've got pikes, they've got... Okay, Carthage has got a scorpion. 
This could be huge. I mean, this could certainly do some work on uh, big blobs of infantry. We've got a Royal Peltast here. So, I mean, they've still got some stuff. They've still got some kit of the defenders to defend themselves. They've got a lot of ways that the attackers can come in. They can come in this front side, this side, this side over here. They might actually be able to sneak through here. So, they might even need to protect that. I don't know how, they, how many units they've got. And Pikes can hold here. Royal Peltast could hold over here. Then one of the other hot plate units could hold here. I think they're down to just this, to be honest. I'm a little bit concerned for the defenders, but... They've got pikes, and I mean, Swaby doesn't have pikes. I think Kush has lost his. It just depends on the ammo left. Oh no, Kush has still got a pike unit over here. 160, wow, very fresh. But I mean, it looks like the uh, general up here for Kush is going in. Okay, he's found the uh, Carthaginian kit general. That's good. We can get rid of another general. Or a general. We haven't actually got rid of one yet. But, yeah, certainly the General's bodyguard here for uh, Kush should not be uh, losing to these Carthaginian uh, General. Mainly because of the number and also because the Kush General's just heavily armoured. He's nasty. Yeah, look at that. He's, uh, I think if we just put the hood up, yeah, I think this unit's, oh dear. English disappeared for a moment, but it looks like the unit is losing decisively. That's what I was trying to say. But uh, it looks like Kush is also already setting up. He's just got his troops around the corner, ready to spring the trap. It looks like they're going to defend one choke point. Probably a bad decision. Just defend here instead of holding there and there. Uh, it looks like units are getting ready. Carthage and Scorpion, I... Presume is out of ammo because they're sending the crew in to die. And there you go. It looks like Berserker's just going to cut down this crew. Poor guys. Oh. Brutal. So the Berserkers are going to just cl clean up there. They've just done their little bit. And uh, my Peltas did a little bit as well. You know, they turned up. They're cheering them on, but it looks like uh, Kush is going to set up his archers. They, Kush's archers, I mean, are probably one of their nicer units, like looking units. Like I don't know what it is, their bows just look amazing. Like, just zoom in on that bow, look at that. Nothing great about it, it's just the shape. It just looks very... But it does look like an African bow. Like I don't know what an African bow looks like, but it looks... I'd say an African bow is something like ornate, and it kind of looks a bit ornate. But they are just focusing in on this blob here. They're trying to take out the pikes, I think. And they're doing that slowly. They're chipping away at these pikes. As Berserk is going over here. What is it? Berserkers and... Oh, longbows. Okay. Yeah, poor guys. They're just... They're going to die. And um, we've got a ballista coming up here. It's just not looking good, is it? Ballista coming up. I presume that the Onager... It's on its way up as well, slowly. Slowly but carefully it's on its way up. We've got the general left for Swaby. Okay, what have they done? They pulled back their pikes. That's a risky move because now I'm able to get my Royal Peltas in. Here they come. The 50-odd boys that are left. And they're going to cause some havoc. So we're going to flank in here. Then I realize that the pikes are resetting up. So I decide, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here. We're going to turn around and we're going to attack into the flank of the pikes. While that's happening, Kush is attacking on this side against Mastodon. This is a bit of a strange formation since he's forming Column. But he is now trying to flank around, uh, stop a flank going on. But it looks like uh, Kush is just going to flank on in here. There's just so many units. He's got, yeah, he's got enough units to surround them all. And now I'm able to surround here as well with my unit of Epirus. A final unit able to do its work. He's going to just flank these pikes. And that'll, uh, that's... We're inside their defences now, and I think that's uh, GG, and the defenders are not going to win today. They look like they would after they destroyed my Epirus army very early on, but it's uh, going to be a attacker's victory. Kush and Swaby just 
manage to pull it out the bag and just do a lot of, heavy, of the heavy lifting. Kush is firing into the back of Macedon over there. That's very nice. But, I mean, look at all the blob that we have here. And a weird assortment. Oh, it's not even Kush. It's uh, Swaby. He's just shooting into the back of Macedon over there. That's nasty. But, yeah, what a weird assortment. You've got, like, Hellenic people. You've got, like, people in furs. You've got, like, desert desert people. Like, all just fighting out on this one side. What a weird coalition came together. And they to fight all Hellenic people. Epirus defend, uh, like... Taking a, I don't know what I was going to say. It's a, being a traitor to its own side. That's basically what I was trying to say. But there you go. A huge route. There we go. That's going to be the game. And, uh, yep, the defenders have lost, unfortunately, for them. And it was a costly victory indeed. So we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. So it was a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, kind of uh, ironic since I was playing as Epirus, a Pyr uh, Pyrrhic victory. Um, but yeah, I didn't do too great. I mean, my final unit of Royal Peltas, which stayed on till the end, got 281 kills. That's very nice. Um, a few others got over 100. Actually, quite a few got over the 100 mark. Some got focused down. My Samonites did okay, getting 133. Uh, my Pikes didn't do that great. My Cav didn't do great either. And my Arches, one got over 100, but the rest are pretty awful. Um, Drunk Norwegian, who was playing as the Swaby, getting 174 kills with his Onager. That's excellent. His Bows, most of them getting over 100. Excellent. Uh, his sword mass is 244. Excellent. That is the best one out of the lot. Um, and his Wodnaz spear is getting 275, which is really good for spears. Though I mean, they're a really good unit. Definitely worth bringing if you're playing as the Swaby. These guys and the sword masters and berserkers, obviously. This is kind of like the uh, sort of units you want to be bringing as the Swaby. Maybe better spear, uh, not spears, um, horse if you can. Um, but that's just my opinion. And then Aiden, who is playing as Kush. Um, getting the most kills out of anyone, getting 3,000 kills. I mean, no surprise, his armor show warrior is doing well. Getting like 366 kills there. Uh, 377 there. I mean, there's, um, most of the others getting like over 200 kills. Or certainly all of them getting over 100 kills. And um, his pikes are okay, getting 142. And his one unit of shows for warrior is getting 127 kills, which isn't awful either. And his uh, arch is getting like 100 kills. And his ballista actually got 100 kills. Um, but yeah, so I mean, Aiden did very well, no surprise there, playing his Kush, uh, getting the most kills on the attack, very OP, very, very nasty. Carthage here, played by Heroes of the Greeks, um, I'll leave his channel down below in the uh, description, so you can go and check that out if you want to and support him, he also does have a channel, he makes some great content, definitely worth checking out. Um, but yeah, Carthage, uh, his elephant's not doing so great, only getting 74 kills, and for the amount of money they uh, cost, definitely wasn't worth it in the end, his cavalry... Did okay. Um, I don't think he really sallied out with him enough to like cause enough havoc. I think he sallied out on Swaby and just got overwhelmed. His pikes did really well though. 284 kills and 120. His archers, he only decided to bring three archers and they all got over 100 kills. They did well. Um, his late Carthaginian hot plates, 123 kills. That's very good. 260 with his Mercy Noble Fighters. Um, Samonite Warriors getting 102. And his Straker Brand all getting over uh, 100. So, as again, well done to him. Matthew, 20. Um... Pretty new to the game. This is one of his first uh, first games he ever played. So he did pretty well actually. Did get them. He got the least amount of kills out of anyone, but he uh, made a good stand and was one of the last standing um, in the end. He had more troops and heroes left. Um, but I mean, his cavalry did well, getting 106 kills. With his companion cav, his arch is doing okay, getting 104 kills. His hot plates kind of got overwhelmed actually. Not many of them do that great. It definitely would bring some uh, maybe better troops. Bring thorax swords next time possibly. They certainly do a lot better. His a uh, Royal Peltas getting 148 kills and 149, so they're not too bad. And his pikes, unfortunately, got focused down by Kush, so they didn't really turn up. And then Dodgy Gob, who was playing as the Seleucids, did the best out of any of the defenders, getting 270 kills with his Indian Armored Elephants. No surprise there, they are a nasty unit. They did very well, and they routed my general. And then uh, Royal Peltas getting 280 kills, and then his pikes getting 100 kills, so that's not too bad. And his Thorax Swords doing okay as well, pretty average. Um, but anyway guys, if you enjoyed them, please do leave a like and a subscribe and a comment if you um, want to show your support and well, sub if you're new around here is what I was going to say as well. Um, but yeah, keep up the support guys. I am really appreciate it. Let's see if we can get to uh, 1300 subs by the end of the month. I think we can do it. So yeah, sub if you're new around here. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you guys later.